years this yard's been in business. I'm talking about tradition. Oh, that's bloody marvellous, isn't it? I mean, there you are, mass-producing plastic boats by the dozen, and you have the gall to talk to me about tradition. I'm talking about continuity, actually, and integrity, if you like. Vanessa's family built high-quality boats at Relton. I am doing the same thing. The only thing that's changed are the materials. Listen, Avril, I'm not suggesting we stop building boats. We do it somewhere else. And with the money we get from this site, we can afford to buy the best. You're not going to get my vote, and I'm pretty certain you're not going to get Tom's either. That's a point. This J-class boat Tom's bringing back be the biggest job we've ever taken on. Where are you going to find a yard that'll handle that in time? Relton. You're joking! Well, what's wrong with that? You've got plenty of land <sighs> and plenty of water frontage. I'll buy it off you. Dad, you're crazy. And apart from anything else, it might not be me you're having to deal with. Oh, Charlie Freer, it's simple. I'll make the land part of the deal. You're even beginning to think like him now. Have you any idea how much setting up this new yard is going to cost? Not yet, no. You could be in for a shock. OK, OK, you've all had your say. No. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, Bill. I'm sorry. The floor's all yours. Nobody's said anything about Tarot yet. I live and work here. Same as most of the lads, same as you all do. This place is a community, and as far as I'm concerned, the Mermaid Yard is part of it. It's like the church and the pub. I mean, what I'm saying is this hotel and marina, they may be all right. They don't belong here. Very well put, Bill. Yes. That's a valuable point, Bill. All right, we've, we've thrown it about a bit. Let's think about it. I've got to get that boat ready. Just proves he can be reasonable. Yeah. That doesn't happen very often. Well, find out who they are, will you? Yeah, and thanks for calling. Trouble? I'm not sure. There's more shares have changed hands in the past 24 hours than the past two months. Well, surely that's a sign of confidence. What? When the company. Yeah. Yes, maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. There's something going on. I can feel it. Oh, that is wonderful news. Thank you for all your hard work, Jonathan. Bye. Ah, there you are. I thought you were going to give me a hand with the boat. Uh, later. Won't be long. What are you off to? Um, uh, shopping. Shopping? Yes. How on earth did you do it? Oh, we picked up a few shares here and there. A few? You're talking about nearly 1%. Do you realise this could make all the difference? Well, I certainly hope it will, otherwise I wouldn't have gone to all the trouble. Thank you. I just happen to think you're very good news for Relton. You've got a sizeable stake in the company now. Yes, I have, and I consider it one of my better investments. This, uh, this idea of Dad's? Buying land off Relton, you mean? Yes. No connection whatsoever. The first I heard of it was this morning. Good. It wouldn't have worked, you know. Well, of course it wouldn't. A public company the managing director selling assets to her father. Have you told him yet? Expect him to think about two things at the same time. Good Lord, <laughs> no. Get this race over first. I'll see you on the water. Vanessa, thank you again. Thanks from Walter.
we got a race on our hands. Ask her to come in, would you please, Fiona? Avril's on her way in. Under a flag of truce, perhaps? Morning, Gerald. Good morning, Avril. Charles. Well, this is an unexpected pleasure. <sighs> Coffee? No, thanks. Won't be staying long. I have to get ready for the race. Oh, well, that's right, of course. You've entered Blue Ribbon, haven't you? <laughs> Stand a good chance, do you think? I never enter a race if I don't think I can win it. Strange of you to ask, Charles. Thought you knew me better. Pity you don't apply the same principles in business. Ah, that means you're going ahead with a vote of no confidence. Mm-hmm. Goes to press this afternoon. Followed by individual letters to all shareholders. If only you'd been prepared to talk and listen, none of this need have happened. Pity. I had hoped you would have changed your mind. A bit late for that now, I'm afraid. Oh, well. Then you won't be interested in this fax I've just received from Malta. It really doesn't make any difference, you know. We have all the votes we need. I wouldn't be so sure about that. Don't try to bluff me, Avril. It won't work. If you want to lose face, that's your own affair. But I think I ought to tell you, just so that you get your sums right. I can now count on another one percent. See you in Guernsey. Do you really think she's bluffing? I have a horrible feeling she isn't. When did you hear? She just rang now. Oh. <clears throat> What's all this, a hen party? That's right, Ken. How did it go? Oh, absolutely fantastic. Leo hasn't got a chance. I want you in Guernsey tomorrow. What for? I want to welcome home the winner, of course. I'm just going to get out of this gear. I think I'm going to take a magnum of champagne with me tomorrow. How else does one celebrate a victory? <laughs> <laughs> Ten seconds to go, Bill. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, one, go! go. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the autumn collection of Howard Brook. Get on, quick. Sit down your bars. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good luck. Have fun. Good luck.